Hi, I'm Ginger Ziegler with Embrace in His Grace, and we welcome you tonight because we are going to pray for our nation, and we're actually going to make a difference. <laughs> we're going to pray, and we're going to push the enemy back, and we're going to allow a place, a bigger place than we've ever had before for the move of God. And so I've got some special people with me tonight, and I want to introduce a couple of them now, and I'm going to introduce a couple of them a little bit later, and we've got people in here praying I got my friends all over the place praying. And we just want to check, make sure, can everybody hear? <laughs> so do a little comment. Is the volume okay? Is everything, somebody look and see if it's okay before we get any further so we don't have, all right, I'm, get, I'm getting the thumbs up. That means it's working. <laughs> so this is Annie, and you know Annie, Annie Grace. Uh, we've known each other since 86, and we've prayed around the world thousands of times <laughs> and uh, then you know Krista my friend she's always here either behind the camera or in front of it she's learned to do both of them mm -hmm. and then I have a couple of pastors here that's going to pray for the Spanish community and so we're going to really hit this thing tonight and I got all my friends out there I don't have a phone in front of me have you got one Krista let me look um, I want to see who all whoops I want to see who all is out there I text everybody I could get a hold of, and uh, Trudy, yes, Trudy has prayed with me since I think 1993 for the United States. I knew Amy was going to be here. Um, Tracy, I knew she'd be here. We're going to have more and more people checking in, and we're going to try to cover the whole United States tonight. That's what I tried to do. I text, mm -hmm. and I text, and I ask everybody to text, and then I made Facebook posts. So we're going to have people, we had somebody from Norway last night, and so I believe we're going to have even more tonight. So I'm asking Annie if Annie will open up. We're going to pray from 7 to 8, and then afterwards what I want you all, if you're in your home with your family or whatever, I want you guys to keep on praying because we're going to pray a continuum prayer is what we're going to do. So Annie, would you yes. open up in prayer for us and get us going? Absolutely. It is such an honor to be with you, Father God. Yes. It is such an honor to be living at this time. You are equipping us on such a supernatural level. Father, you said that you are conforming us into the image of yes. Jesus yes. and that you are equipping us in all the, the nature of Christ is pouring out through us. And I believe tonight, Lord, that there will be an impartation yes of your heart that yes. there is truly the father's heart tonight and you've shown us recently that there is a prayer room even that jesus occupies and that there's a spirit of prayer mm. and it is blanketing the nation yes. father you are calling us up it's not just to decree and and just to take a brand new authority and we love that we appreciate that but, Father, it's a new day to be in yes. Christ yes. and have Christ oh, pour out his heart through us, pour out your heart through us, and getting to know the Holy Spirit in just a whole new way. We love you. We honor you tonight. Our hearts are open, and we pray for all those that are watching and listening, that there's an opening yes. in their heart such yes. as never has been, chambers in the heart, for the deep, deep things of God, things that have been on your heart for lo these many years. And Father, we honor you. Jesus, we honor you. Holy Spirit, we honor you. And we welcome you with all of our heart. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Glory to God. Wow, such a power, powerful prayer. And we started praying back and I started. Kenneth Hagin Sr. taught me how to pray back in 1971. <clears throat> and he said, um, you always wait and ask for the spirit of prayer. And when the spirit of prayer comes, then you're able to, you're actually able to pray. And you don't pray what you want to pray, but you pray what the Holy Spirit is asking you to pray. And I see Darlene's here. She's prayed with me for umpteen years. I think we started in 95 back there, and Barbara's here. We've got people that's been praying with us as a group of, for so many years. And, and the reason I'm mentioning that is because what it's going to take with the situation we're in right now, yeah. it's going to take unity. Yes. We've got to unify mm -hmm. in order to have peace. Yes. If there's not peace, that means there's chaos. There's no unity. Yes. 
So we're going to get to the place to where we actually have unity. Mm -hmm. Then peace will actually manifest from that. Mm -hmm. It's just like in the home. You know, if the kids are running around screaming and hollering and carrying on, the mom's yelling at them, the dad's yelling at the mom, the mom's, you know, whatever, then there's no peace. But when things just calm down, then all of a sudden everybody can have fun. You can do a three-legged race or, (laughs) you know, you can play a puzzle or whatever, and you can actually enjoy each other's company. So what our... What we're striving for tonight is where we want to go to. We want to get to the place to where we have peace so we can have unity. And I have some prayer points about this. And so we all know Second Chronicles 714. We've been praying that, I guess, for how many years? Forever, I guess. Mm-hmm. But we got to have a place to where we repent. Yeah. And all of us have sinned. We've done th- stuff we shouldn't do. We've gotten aggravated. We've lived a life we shouldn't have lived and and it's not against necessarily anybody or any situation we just that the devil just comes to divide Mm -hmm. if he can divide i guarantee Mm -hmm. you he can destroy Mm -hmm. but if he can't divide get us divided among each other mad at each other for whatever that's how divorce happens the husband gets mad at the wife the wife gets mad at the husband and here we go you know Mm -hmm. and so but he said if we will come together god's promises and humble ourselves. Peter talks about it. He said, you're not going to get any grace if you don't have humility. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. that's just saying, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I was mm-hmm. wrong. I messed up. And I don't want to do that again. I ask you to forgive me. Let's start all over again. Yes. It's, it's, and you say, well, that, what if I'm not wrong? Well, <laughs> there was some time you were wrong. <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. So you might as well repent for that time. Nobody laughed at that. I thought that was funny. (laughs) Anyway, but you see, repent. We need to live a life of repentance just constantly because there's stuff we do all the time that we don't even know is wrong until later. And the Lord faces us with them and go, wow, I didn't even know I messed up. You know, Mm -hmm. it takes the Holy Spirit of truth to show us that. So he said, if we will bow our hearts before him, if we will Mm -hmm. humble ourselves, his promise is he's going to heal our land. How many yes. want our yes. land healed? Yes. 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 But we have to turn from our wicked ways, mm-hmm. too. Yes. But we're never going to turn from our wicked ways if we don't humble ourselves. That's where we're going to start. Mm-hmm. we got to do. But he said he will hear from heaven. I love verse 15. It says, now my eyes will be open and my ears will be attentive unto the prayer that is made in this place. Mm-hmm. When God gave me that mm-hmm. verse today, I said, God, your oh, promise. I mean, I was God. just overwhelmed. Praise I was God. in tears. I said, God, you're Thank telling you. us you're going to hear our prayer that's tonight right. in that's this right. place. That's right. Because that's what we're going to do. Amen. And, you know, I'm here to help y'all. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know, yes. I am here to bring as much unity as we right. can. Amen. And, yeah, we got sins and we need to face them. Mm-hmm. Come on. I mean, I'm not acting like we're all lily white. But I'm just saying we can get to a place. You start repenting. You start humbling yourself. It's amazing. Then God can straighten it out. And he can't straighten it out until we do that. So we believe God has given us a promise tonight that he is absolutely going to hear our prayer tonight in this place. Yes, Yes. God, I promise. In this place, it's a a promise. promise. That is so amazing. And so you want to share now? Uh, yes, Pastor Ginger, I have seen this scripture here from Second Chronicles seven fourteen on our vice president's uh, social media page, and I've heard it come forth from his lips uh, when speaking during the COVID crisis. He's used this scripture. I've heard him say more than once about healing our land. And he's referring to us, but it is Christ in us, the hope of glory Mm. that is healing our land. And so I I believe that we're in unity with the second highest office in the land. And I I would be willing to. All right. Well, let's let's uh, go on that. Trump is in 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 agreement. agreement. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, let's pray on that right Mm -hmm. now. And you all get your Bibles and you can pray Mm -hmm. the word. We need to always pray the word and we can pray in our prayer Mm -hmm. language. And so, Father, we come before you right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, we ask you to just look in our hearts and show us those places, Father, that we need to get straight with the Holy Spirit of truth. Father, we've done so much stuff that's been wrong in our nation. 
but Lord, this is a time now we're begging you. We're, we're crying out to you. The blood of Jesus is speaking mercy, and we want to speak mercy, Lord. We want mercy in our own life. We want mercy in our nation, and we want mercy between each other. And so, Father, we just ask you now, as you extend your hand yes. of mercy yes. to us right now, oh, God. Yes. oh my God, yes. that the spirit of mercy, mercy. just cover the United States yes. of America. Oh, Sheila Mahayara Masina Makaya, Deskula Mahasiraka, Leshana Sano Yara Makasi Bravosa. Oh, la makasa. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Mercy. Mercy. We cry out for mercy. Mahashika Mahasedaba. Heal our land, Father God. Heal our land. Heal our people. Heal our nation. Oh, Mahakasinda Labramasi. Iriando Sulaba. Oh, just let a calm, a calm come because of mercy. Mercy. Mercy always prevails. Prevails over judgment every single time. Oh Lord, we just ask you hear, hear, hear our prayers. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We thank you, Lord. Let's just worship and honor God. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. Oh, do you see that? It's happening. The spirit of mercy. Can you see it? Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. God, we're so grateful for mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Woo. Was I the only one that was having the Holy Ghost fit inside? Oh, I tell you, I saw, I could just sense the mercy. Mercy like a river just starting to flow in our nation. Mercy, did anybody in here sense that? Oh, my goodness. Wow. I just felt overflow of gratitude. Yes. That he already confirmed this time. Yes. He said, I will. I'm hearing you in this place, and I will answer your prayer. That's that's amazing. That'll that'll release the full measure of faith. Wow. That'll Praise release God. the rivers of God. So you got something you want to share with us, Annie, about praying tonight? I thought you had. Praise the Lord. We're being led by the Holy Ghost. Y'all watch this. As as we were praying um, for mercy, I was reminded of the angel that Dutch Sheets had met up with and that told him that mercy's the new currency. Yes. And I brought a coin that we had gotten at the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C., and then I just... I just believe this coin represents that new currency. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we are just so grateful to see this outpouring of mercy because mercy is our new currency. Wow. In now. the United States of America, mercy. Wow. Let's mm-hmm. pray over that, y'all. Praise you see this? Let's all lay hands. And we're going to symbolically lay hands on this coin Praise here. God. Everyone can see it. If y'all got something there, you can lay hands on and we're just going to say that this, oh, I love that. I'm so glad you remembered Thank that. Jesus. This is our new Thank currency. You. Mercy Thank is you, the Jesus. new currency. My yes, soul, mercy, soul, Father. Soul, Lord, mercy. we thank you, Father. We're mercy. spending mercy. 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 <laughs> mercy. We are spending oh, mercy. Yes. We are spending yes. mercy. Yes. When we spend yes. mercy, yes. compassion yes. comes, yes. and yes. signs, yes. and yes. wonders, yes. and miracles, yes. and yes. healing yes. comes. Yes. Yes. Healing yes. between yes. mamas and daddies oh, and kids, yes. and, yes. and healing between oh, families, and healing between and all of our government oh, officials, yes. healing yes. all yes. everywhere, yes. employee, yes. employers. Yes. Oh, Lord, we yes. just thank you. We're yes. spending Mercy right now because you have granted us mercy, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh my. Wow. Praise God. As we praise it, it's raining mercy. Mercy <laughs> raining down. Just mercy raining down. Streams of mercy, mercy raining. Streams 
of mercy, waves of mercy, drops of mercy falling upon every piece of our land. Every piece. Oh, wow. Every piece of land. Every piece. And the pieces are being put back together because of mercy. Those pieces, we've been shattered into pieces. And we are coming into that shalom, that wholeness, that nothing missing, nothing broken because of the mercy. And we just thank you, Lord. We just give you highest praise. Hallelujah for mercy. Hallelujah for mercy. Yes! Hallelujah for mercy. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you. Mercy Lord. triumphs over judgment. Yes. yes. We thank you, Lord. We yes. see the triumph. That we yes. shall yes. Triumph, yes. triumph in the works of your hands. Yes. Yes. And you are pouring out of your heart tonight. Yes. Father, we're looking like into what's in God. your heart. Yes, we're looking sir. into yes. the overflow where you said, yes. this is what I would have. I would not have the strife. I would not have the judgments. Yes. I would not have that. I would have that. My mercy and my hasid, my loving kindness, be spread abroad in your heart. So allow the mercy right now to come into your heart. Let it flow, let it spread abroad to the right and to the left. Let the mercy and the love of God come in new dimensions up from within the compassions of God. Let Father God tonight be moved with yes. compassion. And let that compassion, Father, let it just come up through us now, floods of compassion, deep, deep love, Lord, the loving kindness that is better than life. We Lord, there is a, a wave that I just see the blood of Jesus and the mercy of Jesus and the love of God blending together. And there are rivers. Uh, I rem there, there was prayer just recently out of Ezekiel 47. Yes. And in that for in that place there were releases of the rivers of God out from the throne. Mm. And there was a man with a measuring line. Yes. And, I, and it seemed to us that as we respond and we pray for our brothers and we pray out of mercy and we pray out of love, we pray out of kindness. Yes. that those rivers were free to flow yes. out of the throne yes. room. Yes. And yes. that man with the measuring line, what did he do? He gave measures, a thousand and more. He gave yes. another measure. He gave another measure. And the Lord pointed us to Ephesians where when we, when we are allowing the love of God, not judgment, not criticism, not frustration, not even a self-word, inward thing, but a Godward look, that he said that I will give you the measure of the fullness of the stature of Ooh. Christ. Christ Quite like the Christians Christ said that Christ in you, the hope of yes. glory. How does that come? It comes because we embody what he wants. And yes. this is what he wants for right now. Wow. Unity, kindness, the love of God. Father, we just open Thank our heart Lord. wide. We just say, come and flood us. Flood us every dimension, the height, the length, breadth, and depth. Give us a new depth of the mercy. Give us a new depth of your compassion. We've got to pour out to where when we're walking down the street, people sense Jesus. They, they know that person is a loving person. That person shines out with love and kindness. So, Lord, and for our leaders right now, Lord, we have compassion. We have compassion even on those who have have been so persecuting uh, those in the media that have been so oh father we're going to pour out the love of god we're, we're going to release now those rivers out from your throne your throne room Oh Lord, Aliera, we forgive. We just forgive where we've had us, Lord. We, we forgive as we watch the news and just la yurishka leyeraska. But Lord, you're you're letting your rivers come up from us out of our belly. She flow now because we have to come we make a roadway by doing this see we're making a reservoir yes by yes, these yes, prayers yes, yes, where god can unify us yes. he can unify us with michigan he can unify all these states that have been troublesome states california new york and michigan in particular 
that, Lord, that when we do it your way, there are reservoirs as a legal venue to come in, flood us, fill us, and give a legal venue for overtaking, overcoming by what? By the love of God, by the mercies of God. And the Lord says, go out now. Just go. Let this year process that. Let your tongues wrap around that. Speak in higher tongues now. Speak in new tongues right now. See the blood of Jesus. See what his love on the cross is in your heart in a new wave now. New waves. Ali a wave upon wave. Thank you. And you know, Annie, as you know, we talk about a continuum of prayer. When Annie and me, we did a 24-hour prayer, and Darlene helped way back in 1994, and it was a continuum prayer. It's not something you just pray one time. You just keep on praying and keep on praying and keep on praying. And James 5.16 is a really good example, but it's amazing. We always talk about you know, we pray be, like Elijah did, these righteous prayers. But what it says at the beginning of that, it says, confess your faults mm -hmm. in the same verse, mm -hmm. one to another. Pray for one another. But this is what's amazing, that you could be healed. Mm -hmm. yeah. course, when yeah. I do that, I get healed. Amen. When I pray like that, I get healed. Yeah. Confess your faults one to another, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. pray for one another, mm -hmm. and then... I end up getting healed when that happens. Amen. Then it goes on to say, but the effectual, fervent okay. prayer of a righteous man mm -hmm. availeth much. We always mm -hmm. do the second part. We need to do the first part wow. of that verse. Wow. That's exactly That's what awesome. Annie was praying. <laughs> well, I mean, That's we so all want to pray those righteous prayers. That's man, so I mean, good. I want to pray and it don't rain. I'm praying it will rain. Yes, I like that. Yeah. But we got it. The first part of that verse is <laughs> confess your faults one to another and pray mm -hmm. for each other mm -hmm. that you would end up mm -hmm. being healed. Lord, we just release yes. right now a revival yes. of yes. healing. Yes. 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 Whoa, yes. Woo. Yes. going yes. forth yes. right yes. now yes. all yes. over yes. our yes. nation. Yes. Healing yes. in the emotions, yes. healing yes. physically, yes. healing yes. in yes. relationship. Yes. Wow. Let that river flow, Lord. Let that river flow. The river of healing. The river of healing. The river of healing. Physical healing. Emotional healing. Let it flow. Woo. Signs, wonders, miracles. Let it flow. Wow. Woo. Glory to God as we pray for one another. Lord, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. We pray these righteous prayers because we're praying right for a change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wow. Wow. That was a river of healing. Something. I'm telling you, we're having a blast. You guys ought to be here yeah. with us right here. Oh, my, my. And so, you know, that's what happened in Acts 2. He told 500 of them. He said, y'all go up there and y'all just wait. And 120 of them did. The rest of them went to, out to eat and to the movies and stuff. But at least 120 of them obeyed, and they just kept on praying. Nothing happened the first day. Nothing happened the second day, the third day. But they just kept on praying. Mm -hmm. And they were there when God went, wow, you know. And yes. that was a continuum of prayer. And so it's the same thing. You know, they're saying stuff about church meetings now, if y'all noticed. <laughs> you know? And so there's more saying more stuff. Well, we know that in Acts 12, Herod decided, you know, he's got up on the wrong side of the bed one morning. And he said, you know, we're just going to, like, knock the dickens out of all these Christian people, so they killed James, the head of the church. And all of a sudden, everybody went, oh, we're awake, we're awake, uh -huh. when they got a hold of Peter. Mm -hmm. But it was amazing what we're doing. All, say, I'm awake. I'm I awake. am awake, okay, I'm, I'm awake. awake. There's a bunch of us, more than 120, mm -hmm. are awake. We already know, and we're not going to let James get killed, <laughs> okay? Right. And we're not going to let him put Peter in the jail. You understand? Right. But it was right. a continuum mm -hmm. prayer mm -hmm. 
that got him released. Mm -hmm. And this is my point. Continuum prayer. Mm -hmm. And Annie could teach it from Genesis to Revelation. This lady only knows the whole Bible. <laughs> I mean, she's like a walking concordance. I'll pay but you later. <laughs> she'll pay me later. <laughs> I prayed with her. I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but it's a continuum prayer. And the continuum prayer sparks the supernatural. Mm -hmm. It does, yes. It releases the supernatural. Yes. Yes. It releases. Acts 2, they yes. prayed and they prayed. Mm -hmm. It released the supernatural. Right. It did. I know, mm -hmm. that, you know, Pentecost was a long time ago. Terry, Terry, Terry. And then we got away from Terry and, and we're like, I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Boom, boom. I got two hours worth of TV I got to watch. Mm -hmm. No, we're all, we're all the way back to where we're going to do some tarrying. Yeah, and we're going to do some true. waiting because when they was like, wait a minute, you're about to do something to the church. And now you already got James and you're going to do something about Peter. They didn't pray exactly right because, like, whoa, God answered our prayers. Can you believe God answered our prayers? They forgot to let him in. But, you know, <laughs> so they're not praying perfect. Do you understand what I'm saying? So stop trying to pray perfect is what I'm trying to say. It That's was a, a continuum word. of prayer. They decided you are not going to do that to the church. Yes. We're not going to let it happen this time. We may not know all the stuff we need to know about praying. Come on, somebody. But we are going to pray the supernatural in the third recesses. That was the horrible place. Wake up, Peter. Get up. Get your shoes on. Peter didn't even know what was happening. But it was a continuum of prayer. And I'm not talking about getting an unbelief and just, you know, you prayed a hundred times and you got to pray a hundred and one times. I'm not talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about staying in that place of prayer until you know the supernatural. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing tonight. Every, all these places that we've already been are already supernatural. Now we go, okay, well, it's easy for you to say you're sitting there behind the camera and you don't see anything that's happening out here. You just wait, you'll see it. You'll hear it. You're going to hear it in the streets. It's going to start happening. Yes. And you'll start see it seeing. On the news in yes. Jesus' name. On the news. We're going to see it on the news. And there'll be, right. there'll be the manifestation. You know, I, I love to study the, the old revivals that we had. You know, they called him Father Nash and Pray and Hide and all those guys. Um, they would go in before the preacher got there and they'd just get a room and they'd pray and pray and pray and they could hear them wailing for miles and wailing right. and wailing. Right. All they were doing was praying. Right. And then all of a sudden these big guys would walk up and go, tonight you will see miracles. Boom! All of a sudden God started doing all these supernatural stuff. Right. So we're not going to stop praying. we got a continuum. And this is the serious place we are in the church right now. Serious. Acts 12. But Very the part serious. I like so good, we went to Washington, D.C. one time. We were trying to get into the White House, and we took the scripture with us that the gate opened of its own accord. Oh, it's and accord. I had a gate out here on my property. It wasn't working. I'd stand up that gate. I'd say, you are supposed to open of your own accord. You're going to obey me. Mm -hmm. and we did all this stuff. It took us forever to get this gate working. But the first time it actually worked, I was screaming in the car. I was going open up his own accord because <laughs> I knew this scripture would work and the same thing happened in Washington DC we told that gate to open and it did so we're going to tell the gate to open mm -hmm. we fight our battles at the gate mm -hmm. they're yes. won or lost yes. at the gate if you study the Bible you understand yes. you win or lose at the gate it says that so, you possess your enemies at the gate you possess your enemies at the gate so here we go father we just right now in jesus name now i want you to start praying for the supernatural you got it we need the supernatural we need angels to show up we need the gates to open up we need the gates to open up come on we need the gates to open up Churches open up wide. Open up. Come on, help me. We're, we're supernatural. Come on, angels, get out there. Get out there. Open those gates. Open those gates. Those gates of authority. Open in Jesus' name. Open. 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 Gates open. Open 
to the church of Jesus Christ. Open to the church of Jesus Christ. Open to the church of Jesus Christ by the power of the blood. Lift up your hands, O oh ye gates. Be lifted up, everlasting doors. Those are everlasting heavenly doors. Father, we work in concert now with heaven. Right there, to follow this yeah. word, to open these gates, to open these uh, portals. Roll away the stone of strife, division, hatred. Roll away the stone. Open, 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 open ancient doors. Ancient doors. Yes. 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 Portals, portals, portals. Oh, heavenly, everlasting portals, opening, opening. Ancient Eleobrondes to Leobrondes to Leobrondes. Clear, clear the path. Yes, and Father, we pray for what Paul said to pray. He said, pray that the door of utterance would be open so that he could preach the mysteries of Christ. Right now, Lord, we pray for the ministers, all the ministers in the United States and the rest of the world, because probably people will be watching this in foreign places, Father. We pray right now that the door of utterance the door, the door be open that the ministers can speak, speak, prophesy, prophesy the mysteries of Christ Jesus, the anointed one and his anointing. Lord, we pray for the prophets right now that the door is open for them to prophesy. Oh, open that door. Open the door of utterance. The door of utterance. The door of utterance. Open, 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 open in Jesus' name. Open. Oh, we yeah, pray ma, for yeah, the ma. leaders to lead in repentance. Yes. Father, we pray for grants of repentance. Yes. Going out to many, many pastors, leaders, prophets. There be a, a granting of, of yes. that repentance that you, repentance. Yes. that you give, Lord, that you grant. Lord, give them the, uh, the utterance. Give them the unction. Give them the grace. To lead yes. in repentance, yes. oh God. Yes, the yes, heart. yes. Let the heart real of God repentance. be engrafted into them right now. The real heart, repentance. Heart. Real, real repentance, real Father. True repentance. True repentance. The spirit of truth. Pusha. The spirit of truth, Lord. The spirit of truth, Father God. The spirit of truth be released right now. Truth is healing. Truth brings freedom. Truth brings freedom. Truth brings freedom, Lord. Open those doors. Open those doors. Open those doors right now. The door to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And shut the door. You know, the gates of hell cannot, cannot, cannot prevail against the church. It is time for us to stand up and act like that's true. That's right. We've That's got right. the keys, and I've preached this for since 1981. The Lord showed me in 1981. He said, have you ever seen a gate prevail against a key? And I said, no, sir. Mm -hmm. He said, if you got the key, you always went over the gates. And I used to go down for 22 years. I did prison ministry, and one time I was down there, 
and they gave me a roll of keys. I don't know how many hundreds of keys was on there. I was supposed to find, I was supposed to find the right key to go in the right door. Anyway, they were the guard's keys. And I, I remember I took those keys in my hand and I was, wa- I was marching down through there and I was like, I'd been given the keys. Mm-hmm. I was given the keys to that whole prison. Do you realize every unit in there, I had them in my hand. Yeah. And I remember just, it was, I was like, God, this is what Jesus did. He gave us the keys. Yeah. So when I got down there, I was like, <laughs> trying to figure out which one's going to open the door that I was supposed to go through. It was just amazing. We took all those keys. There was, there were several of us. We took all those keys and we said, Father, just show us which one. Guess what? We got the right one, opened the door and I walked in there and I said, this is supernatural, man. Something just supernatural just happened. So the gates of hell cannot prevail against us. He has given us the keys. How many of you really believe that? You know what we're acting like in America? We're acting like the gate is getting up and walking toward us. No, a gate just stays where it stays. It just does what it does. But the key goes click, 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 click. So, Father, we just thank you right now that the gates of hell cannot and will not prevail against the church in the United States of America or anywhere else. Come on, y'all going to have to help me pray that in. We need supernatural help for that to happen. Even in China. For, the, for it to open up. Come on, Saudi Arabia, wherever, Africa, wherever. In the United States. In Jesus' name, we've got the key, and we're using the key, the keys of the kingdom, to open those gates. Open now in Jesus' name. Open now in Jesus' name. Open now in Jesus' name. Angels, go. You got something, Annie? You got something, Krista? Did you bring prophet? Where the spirit of truth is, there is freedom. Right. And uh, President Lincoln, when our nation was in turmoil and, and divided, you know, brother against brother, much death, much misery. Uh, we had that battle of Gettysburg, and he came back and did that Gettysburg address. And he spoke and said that our nation, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, not just, I prophesy a new birth of freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom like we've never known. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit of truth mm-hmm. has come to yeah. each and every one of us. Mm-hmm. 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 And you know, Kenneth Copeland, several years ago, before President Trump even got in there, I don't remember all of his prophecy, but he prophesied that the government was going to change. Mm-hmm. And then he said, well, you asked me how it's going to change. And he goes, I don't know. We've never seen it like it's going to be. He right. said, it's just going to be. Remember that, Barbara? It's how different right. the government is going to be. Right. And so that's ex- when she told me this before we started, I was, I was remembering Kenneth Copeland's prophecy right. because he said it's going to change mm-hmm. for the good. It's going to mm-hmm. change so much. It's going to be this new mm-hmm. birth of freedom, exactly yes. what we're doing right now. Yes. Can and anybody along with be that, you're just walking along mm-hmm. and, and the healing anointing, just that healing balm is just flowing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. And just we're going to as as I had this mic, I think of the Statue of Liberty, you know. We are the beacons of light. Yeah. And we carry that light mm-hmm. and we carry that birth of freedom. Yes. And we were we were born again mm-hmm. to set the captives free. Absolutely. And, let's and this freedom like we never seen. Let's yeah. pray over that because we don't know exactly how to pray mm-hmm. over that. Mm-hmm. So we have to pray mm-hmm. in the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I mean, because when you get where you don't know what to pray or mm-hmm. how to oh, say yeah. it exactly. That's right. So, Father, we just right Praise now, you. come on, let's Thank start you. praying. Thank Lord, Father. we just Thank lift up Lord. this new birth Glory of freedom. We Hallelujah. proclaim the new Thank birth you, of freedom. Oh, 
new birth of freedom. Oh, wow. Your ear has not heard about this new birth of freedom. What will be manifested through it? Yes, come on, help me. New birth of freedom. New birth of freedom. A new, come on, say it with me. A new birth of freedom. Come on. A new birth of freedom. A new birth of freedom. A new birth of freedom. Come on. In Jesus' name, the spirit of truth being released. Wow. Now, y'all use that. Everybody out there, you, you use that. You start making that decree. We have a new birth of freedom in our nation. And if you have a phone, if you're at home and, and you have a phone available, or those of you that are out here, get a map of the United States. Get a yeah. map out and just put your hand on that map and just decree a new birth of freedom. And you know what? While we're at it, it's the world. A new birth of freedom for, freedom for, for the, the world, whole world. Because this great harvest yes. is yes. ripe. Yes. 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 Let, let me yes. tell you what uh, John B. taught us. John 3.16. We all know John 3.16, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son that we would not perish. Do you know what the word perish means? Not come apart. Isn't that powerful? And which is what come Lincoln, apart, right. and that's what Lincoln and that's, said. And we read what? That's what a new. Come on, this is prophetic, okay? Right. So right. a new birth of freedom for the world, the world, so that the world doesn't come apart. Uh -huh. Wow, Amen. glory to God. That is Amen. so powerful. Yes. You could pray that for your family. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could pray that for your businesses. Mm -hmm. You could pray that for your churches. Mm -hmm. That Jesus, God gave Jesus. Yes. He gave Jesus so that we wouldn't perish. We yes. wouldn't mm. come apart. Yes. Mm. Oh, my. Glory to yes. God. Yes. Isn't that unity. powerful? Yes. Wow. Unity. Perfect bond yes. is unity. The perfect bond. I'm not coming apart. How about you, Annie? Praise God. We're <laughs> unified. We're unified. You cannot mobilize unless you're unified. Yes. And you cannot multiply in God's divine power until you have unity. Two yes. puts 10,000 to flight. There is, there, there's a multiple in every single measure there. We have to be in unity in order to yield any power. It has to come. And so the spoke, these, these are prophetic. I believe that that scripture, that the gates of hell will not prevail. Yes. I, I just want to prophesy that. We just release the yes. prophetic anointing yes. that this will be a continuum. This will be a decree that we use over and over again. We speak in Jesus' name that there is a prevailing. We triumph in the works of your hand. Father, we prophesy in Jesus' name that it is now. That is something that we gain momentum on every time we decree it and declare it. It is established and new light is continually released. That is the eternal work. And so, Father, we the gates of hell will not be no. And the gates that are everlasting are opening now. We declare open heaven yes. over every single part of the United States. Any place there has been tumult or a riot, we say the open heaven declares the uh, entrance of the mighty king. Who is this king? Yes. The king of glory. glory. <laughs> thrust in in the name of Jesus. We declare this, thou shalt, this is Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise, O church, yes. and have mercy, mercy, mercy upon the whole of the church. Yes. For it is the time, it is a set time, it is a kairos time, it's an opportune peak time. That's what it means, a zenith of the power of God. And so we're releasing that, Father, in the name of Jesus. It says, even the kings shall come to fear the Lord. Even yes. the kings of the earth, you mentioned the whole globe. And the Lord shall build up Zion and he shall, 
he shall appear in his in glory. His glory. And yeah. so we just release glory. through what? The mercy, it says that the mercy, hallelujah, is right on there. Hallelujah. Jesus. Father, we just thank you for these waves being made, that there, there are true openings. Yes. There are true portals yes. being yes. opened yes. by yes. the yes. love of God yes. and by yes. unified yes. prayer. Yes. And Lord, we're saying that in the name of Jesus, we become as one man. Yes. That's how it was always yes. depicted yes. in yes. the Old yes. Testament. Yes. Yes. That when they became as one man, one man, the glory of the Lord would come and prevail. And we prophesy yes. that we are prevailing yes. in yes. Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Not overcome. No, we are the prevailing force. We are yes. the force from heaven. We of are mercy. the men and women from above. Yes. Yes. We're not fighting yes. on yes. earthly ground, on an earthly level. We are from above. Yes. And God says that come up and sit and declare victory yes. from this upward place. Victory. Look down upon the enemy. Get it in your spirit. Get it in the sword. What did Gideon say when he was like, felt yes. so small? The Lord spoke into his identity. He rose up and he said, the sword of the Lord <laughs> and of Gideon. Ah. <laughs> you know, he was like, ah. marvel. And so anyway, we marvel at the strength of God that's in us right now. We have to act that way. We have Thank to embody it. We cannot just lean upon our leaders. Right. We have to come up and be yes. Yes. those mighty men and women. The whole earth is groaning. In fact, Lord, we just groan right now that for the manifestation of the sons of God, that, Father, we just fold into your heart. You already see us there. You already see that we are mighty, oh, mighty men. You, you've already seen it. Lord, we just step up now. We step up and we step into Christ in us, in this mighty, manifested sons of God. Yes. Take the sword of the Spirit, praying. Take the sword of the Spirit, declaring. Yes. Take the sword of the Spirit, decreeing. Uh, once a day, make it a build, build a discipline. Build and you will fall in love with the spirit yes. of prayer. Amen. God, just give us that daily. Uh, yes. No more shallow. No, 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 not in the shallow. We're with that man in the measuring line. And we're ready. We're up, Lord. Let him measure out a new thousand and a new thousand. Angle, yes. knee, yes. waist, yes. go up, yes. over, yes. just Raise completely up. over. Yes. Lord, new tongues, you shall speak yes. in new tongues. You shall have tongues with interpretation. You shall decree in your own living rooms. You shall decree in driving in the car. You shall be inspired with the prophetic word because it belongs to you. It's who you are. You're built for this, saith yes. the Lord. Now I hear the yes. Lord say that. You're, you're <laughs> built for this, saith yes. God. Whew. Praise God. Hallelujah. And as you spoke, uh, Annie, just now uh, about like we the people, we the people, we the church have to rise up. And, and this nation is the responsibility of we the people. And when they wrote that new constitution, which is the current constitution that we have right now, it, it begins with we the the people Praise in God. order to form a more perfect union mm -hmm. establish the justice ensure domestic tranquility provide yes. for the common defense Amen. promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty of jesus christ jesus. himself yes. to ourselves Amen. and our posterity yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise and, God. and it says God. we do ordain and establish this constitution for the united states of america united Praise and we God. speak that as the church yes. going forth Amen. Right. We've not been yeah. doing all this. Right, right. <laughs> but so true. we're taking up our arms, and, and we, the people, mm -hmm. are standing and yes. walking in yes. our authority. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Well, I'm going to ask. Thank you, girls. Everybody, yeah. <coughs> tell these ladies thank you so much. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I'm going to ask if uh, Vince and Elena will come, and they're going to speak to the Spanish community. And because uh, I'm just learning Texan, y'all. Uh, so I hadn't got the Spanish part down. I hadn't even got the English part down. But uh, I want them to come on. And you guys, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. It was such thank a you. blessing. What a blessing to have them both. All right, you guys, come on. Come on, Elena. You can sit right next to me.
And you guys, y'all keep praying out there. Come on, Vince. <coughs> this is Vince and Elena. They're, um, they have uh, a church and an outreach to the Hispanic community. And uh, she's from uh, Argentina. And she has the cutest accent you've ever heard. I still, she gets talking fast. I don't know what she said. I go, no, you have to talk real slow for me. And Vince is Texan. No, I'm Texan. <laughs> anyway, address our Spanish community yeah. all over the whole United States and maybe parts of the world. So y'all uh, talk to them about what we've been talking. The last mm -hmm. thing we haven't quite covered yet is about the peace and want to you know, wherever you go, okay. go ahead and go for it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Ginger, for welcoming us. Welcome us oh, I thank you for together. coming. What an honor. Gracias, Pastor Ginger, por tenernos aquí con ustedes. Oh, that's right. I forget so they do gonna, that. <laughs> we're going to do this bilingual. Vamos a hacer esto en dos lenguajes. Since we're talking about unity, <laughs> Como estamos hablando de unidad, we're going to talk in, in both languages. Vamos a hablar en los dos idiomas. You're going to see unity in action. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> unity takes practice. Yeah. Unidad toma práctica. And so unity has a, uh, a uniqueness to it. La unidad es única. See, unity is about bringing different things together. La unidad es traer diferentes cosas a una sola cosa. It's a beautiful thing. Es algo hermoso. When God brings together difference to be one. Cuando Dios trae la diferencia y lo pone en uno. But it takes work. <laughs> W-O-R-K. Mucho trabajo. And so what we're doing this evening so lo que estamos haciendo esta tarde is we're laying the foundation vamos a poner una fundación for the Lord's work. Para que el, el Señor trabaje. The Lord's work el, el trabajo del Señor is bringing things together. Y es traer todo junto. And we do that y hacemos eso on purpose. Yes. Con un propósito. Yes. You know that it's really cool that in the Bible, que en, la Biblia, in the Tower of Babel, uh -huh. en las torres de Betel, the languages were uh, were separated, that the uh, uh, population was disunified. But I don't know if anybody else knows this. Pero no sé si más sabe esto. But in, in the day of Pentecost, when they were all gathered together in the upper room, que en el día del Pentecostés, cuando estaban todos esperando, the Lord brought everybody back together again. Yes. El Señor trajo yes. a todos juntos otra vez. So the, the beautiful perspective, la, el, la perspectiva hermosa, what we have in the church, de lo que yes. tenemos en la iglesia, is that we, we, before when we were just believers, antes cuando nomás éramos creyentes, when we were drawing near to Christ, cuando estábamos cerca de Cristo, when we were born again, cuando nacimos de nuevo, see we were individual, But when we're born again, Pero yes. nacimos de nuevo, we were born into a body. Nacimos a un cuerpo. And a body is unified. Y ese cuerpo está unido. <laughs> And so we are born again so estamos nacidos en, nacidos de, de nuevo, by the Spirit of God. Por el Espíritu de Dios. And the Spirit of God y el Espíritu de Dios is bringing all things yes. together está trayendo todo juntos. Yes. for the glory of the Lord. Yes. Para la gloria de Dios. So in the beginning of this evening, so el principio de esta tarde, you see we talked about uh, 2 Corinthians 7. Yeah. Estuvimos hablando de segunda de Crónicas 7. So we mentioned verse 14. Mencionamos el versículo 14. But what does verse 15 say in 16? Pero qué dice el versículo 15 y 16? So I'm going to go ahead and read. Yes. If that's okay. Okay? So now my eyes will be open. Yes. Ahora mis ojos van a estar abiertos. And my ears will be attentive. To the prayers that are made to this place. For now I have chosen and consecrated this house that my name may be there forever. See what the Lord is doing in this hour is the same thing he began in the upper room. Es lo mismo 
mismo que él empezó en el, en el Pentecostés. Is he sent out a movement of angelic host in this hour? Él mandó yes. un movimiento yes. de uh, angelical. To consecrate the house of God. Para consagrar la casa de Dios. And he's cleansing the house. Y él yes. está limpiando yes. la casa. Yes. So no. what is he cleansing the house of right now? So, ¿de qué está limpiando la casa ahora? He's cleansing the house of disunity. Yes. Está limpiando la casa de la desunidad. Yes. And that disunity likes to rear its ugly head. Y la desunidad no le gusta eso. As the spirit of division. Porque es un espíritu de división. So this evening, en esta tarde, we are coming against the spirit of division that yes. has been yes. in the house. Yes. 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 <coughs> because if we can get the spirit of vision out of the house of God, then we can get it out of our nation. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're asking our our uh, our um, Latin American brothers and sisters to join with us. So por favor le pedimos a nuestros hermanos y hermanas latinas que nos que se junten con nosotros. To, to, to partner with us in this move. Yes. Because this is one nation. A united nation. Yes. Under God. Individual. Indivisible. Uh, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You see, Joy. Say this. One nation under the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are one nation Somos una nación under under the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bajo nuestro Padre, Jehová y Jesucristo. Yes, I want to make sure we know the God we're talking That's about. That's right. <laughs> so we're gathered together on one accord. <laughs> and so we're making, she's making sure we're on one accord. <laughs> because there's a big difference between a believer and a body. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> So uh, I want to just uh, just touch on something real quick. Okay. So uh, our ministry is called United in Freedom. Nuestro ministerio se llama Unidos en Libertad. And in this ministry, en este ministerio, the Lord asked us to be a bilingual ministry for a reason. El Señor nos, nos dijo que fuéramos un ministerio bilingüe por una razón. He says, I want United Freedmen. Yo quiero que estén unidos y libres. So we offer the ability uniquely for English and Spanish families to draw together. So nosotros le ofrecemos la um, oportunidad de las familias que son americanas y hispanas que se junten. To worship together with one voice. Para que alaben juntos con una voz. And so there's an anointing this evening. Hay una unción en esta tarde. To be able to join together with one voice. Para que nos juntemos con una voz. So I want to ask permission this evening. So yo quiero pedir permiso en esta tarde. Is there something that the Lord wanted me to ask for the church of the living God to remove from the house? Hay algo que él quiere que removamos de la casa. Remember we're putting the house in order, right? Estamos poniendo la casa en orden. There's a, a famous saying from the Brownsville Revival. Hay una frase famosa de derribamiento de Brownsville. When the order's right, cuando el orden es correcto, the glory falls. La gloria yeah. cae. Woo. So this is what the Lord said to me when we were began this evening. Esto es lo que el Señor me dijo a mí cuando empezamos esta tarde. It's what we teach uh, newly married or pre-marriage, uh, pre-marital, uh, do we do in premarital training. Es cuando enseñamos a los matrimonios o a las parejas antes de casarse. Remember we're one body, right? Acuérdense que somos un cuerpo. Is there something really important for a lasting relationship? Hay algo muy importante para una relación que dure para siempre. It's called Se llama No Exit Strategy. No estrategia de salida. If you remove the exit strategy, si tú remueves esta estrategia de poder salir, then you remove the reason to hold something against the other person. Entonces estás removiendo la razón para tener algo en contra de la otra persona. You stop looking at the differences para de mirar las diferencias because you're focused on unity. Porque estás enfocado en unidad. So church of the living God. So iglesia de Dios vivo. We are one body. Somos yeah, un yeah. cuerpo. We are one uh, spirit.
spirit-filled family. Somos una familia llena del Espíritu Santo. And the Lord gave us no exit strategy. Y el Señor no nos ha dado una estrategia para poder escaparnos. We were born again to live as one body in freedom. Y hemos sido nacidos de nuevo para que estemos con un cuerpo as, como un cuerpo y en libertad. And the Lord said one thing before he was crucified. Y el Señor dijo una cosa antes que fuera crucificado. It was about the only thing the Lord put his mark on. Fue algo que él puso la marca en. He says, I give you a new commandment. Él yeah. dijo, te he dado yeah. un nuevo mandamiento. He says, love one another as I have loved yeah. you. Yeah. Dijo, amense uno al otro así como yo les he amado a ustedes. That the world may know that I am in you and you're in me. Para que el mundo sepa que yo vivo en ti y tú vives en mí. I haven't done a good job with that. Yo no he hecho un buen trabajo con eso. But I make the decision today. Pero yo he tomado la decisión hoy día. And I want to ask everyone with me this evening. Y yo quiero preguntarles a todos en esta tarde. Let's do a better job at being one body in love. Yeah. Hagamos yeah. un mejor trabajo para estar en un cuerpo en amor. Because it's not impossible. Porque no es yeah. imposible. You know, in this hour. En esta hora. See, uh, the Lord has given us special privilege. El Dios nos está dando eh, privilegios especiales. It's called great grace. Yes. So there's a supernatural ability. So es la habilidad supernatural. To bring the house of God into one accord. Es para traer la casa de Dios en un acuerdo. That there will be no need amongst us. Y va a haber no necesidad entre medio de nosotros. You see, it's not about uh, that uh, physical, tangible thing. No es acerca de las cosas que podemos tocar. Because everything begins in the spirit. Porque todo empieza en el espíritu. See, today we're going to touch on the spiritual thing. Yes. Hoy día vamos a tocar en las cosas espirituales. But it's going to manifest in the spirit. Amen. Y yes. se va a manifestar en el espíritu. So let's gather together. Entonces juntémonos juntos. And let's, let's pray together this evening. Yes. And this is what I want to say. It's for every believer this evening. That we are standing together for every united house. This is not about a denomination or a, a ministry no, name. This is about putting God's house back. Back in order. Yes. So we want to deal with the spirit of division this evening. Yes. So I want to ask you specifically to, to pray this over the place where you worship. Let's pray this over our nation. We want to ask for the spirit of, div of division to be uprooted and unveiled yes. in every place yes. in this land. Yes. Amen. 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 So let's just lean into this this evening. Holy, 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 holy. Father, you are so different in your ways. You have separated us for yourself. We are no longer our own. We've been bought with a price. And that was such a good price. That you have made us righteous. And in your righteousness, Lord Jesus, we stand up in the spirit this evening. And we repent of disunity in the body of Christ. We repent of disunity in our nation. And Lord, today we ask that you would hear our cries. Yes. And that you would heal our land. Yes. Father, we ask that you would uproot and unveil the spirit of division that has prevailed yes. in the house of God. <coughs> And Father, that you would yes. send the new wine to yes. fill us, Lord, with yes. love. But Lord God, we want all the old wine out. Yes. yes. Lord, pour it out. 
Well, Lord, we, we just ask that every last drop of the old wine get out of the vessel. And give us new wine skin. Lord God, we ask that you would give us new wine skin. Rip away the old wine skin. Lord, we want to take the pain this evening. Lord, we want you just to completely cleanse us. We want you to cleanse the house. We want you to put the house in order, Father. So, Lord God, we ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. In this hour of the Holy Ghost. This is the hour of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Where you're pouring out your spirit upon all flesh. Lord God, we do not deny our need for the Holy Spirit. But today we declare our dependence on the Holy Spirit. So Father, we ask for help. Yes. Our nation needs your help. Yes. Yes. Your bride needs your help. Yes. Our homes need your help. Yes. Father, pour out a, a, a movement of unity in this nation. Yes. Father, we ask forgiveness for the exit strategy that prevails. But today we declare Yes. yes. With one mouth. Yes. With one heart. Yes. And by one spirit. One spirit. There's no more exit strategy. There's no more exit strategy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to translate this. Um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10 in the Amplified Bible. En la Biblia amplificada. But I urge and entreat you, brethren, Yo te, uh, les mando y te pido, hermano, in the name of the Lord Jesus en el Christ. De Jesucristo, now this is what is important, that all of you, all of you be in perfect harmony. Yes. Que todos nosotros estemos en un, en un perfecto harmony. En unidad. Unidad. Armenia. Harmonia. 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 Mm -hmm. Harmonia. Okay. <laughs> I'm practicing. Muy importante. <laughs> Taco enchilada. I got it. Anyway, back to the Bible. <laughs> we have to end on a joke, okay? So anyway. <laughs> but he said, I urge you to be in harmonia. Yo les pido que estén en armonía. Okay, and in full agreement of what you say. Y en un perfecto y completo oh. acuerdo en lo que dicen. Amen. And that there be no divisions. Y que no va a haber división. There be no factions. No factions. No factions. No divisions. No, factions. No, no separación. No dissensions. No. Dissensions. Oh. No pelea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Among you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Holy Ghost just hit here. <laughs> that you be perfectly united. In common understanding. And in our opinions. This is very important. And in our judgments. Wow. This is it. This is what we this is what we strive for tonight. This is what we wanted Amen. tonight. Esto es lo que queremos esta noche. Amen. And do you know what? ¿Y saben qué? When that happens, cuando eso pase, the devil might as well just hook him. Amen. Oh yes. Because Amen. we're united. Más vale que el diablo se vaya porque nosotros estamos juntos. Amen. And when we're united, y cuando estamos juntos, I'm telling you nothing. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. 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 Is impossible. It's impossible. And I, just, I know we ran out of time, but I just got to tell y'all something. 
The Lord told me the other day, he said, y'all always say nothing's impossible all the time. But you're always talking about money or healing. Siempre están hablando de dinero o de, de curarse. Are you ready for this? ¿Están listos para esto? Mm -hmm. He said, why don't you say nothing is impossible, including my ability to forgive? Mm -hmm. Y me dijo, Ooh. ¿por qué no decir nada es imposible, awesome. incluyendo mi habilidad de poder perdonar? Amen. We need to stop picking and choosing our scriptures. Amen. Tenemos que parar de estar eligiendo nuestras escrituras. Amen. <laughs> I love y'all. We're Amen. over time, and I don't even care. <laughs> God bless you, and please email me. I just want y'all to just update real fast. Uh, the Daily Devotional Blood Book will be out any day now. That's a faith statement in Jesus' name. And I'm going to start the master's class for teaching on how the blood speaks. I'm telling you, if we, we, we got to get the understanding of the power of the blood of Jesus. When we do that, the devil, I'm telling you, he runs. I've actually seen him run when I've spoken just the blood. I forgot we were doing that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just get to preach and I forget the other part. Anyway, if you want to know more about that, you can email si quieren saber más de eso, por favor, mándenme un correo electrónico. Wow, did I say that much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steph, I'm sorry, the Holy Spirit got loose in here. <laughs> Steph at embracinghisgrace.org. Se llama Staff Embracing His Grace. His Grace. Org. Okay, I agree with her. <laughs> Bless you. Remember a continuum of prayer, but we've got to get to the place where we're praying continually. Que Dios los bendiga y acuérdense que tenemos que seguir orando continuamente. We're ready for this outpouring Amen. and inpouring and yes, upon pouring yes, and every yes, other pouring. Estamos listos para este derramamiento. It's actually happening. <laughs> God bless you. Que we'll Dios see you next bendiga. time. Nos vemos la próxima vez. Amen. All right. Bless